Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, finally, I got the dragon statue today and we're gonna discuss this season's meta before it ends in like three days or so so that when the next season begins, you guys can prepare for what will be the trend on the lineups on PvP. So before I start, I just need to clarify that the meta lineup is not by any means the best but it is the practical type of lineup which means that it has fewer ways to counter than any lineup and that is the reason why they are likely to use on diamond 1 to master 1 so let's start first let's start with the most used lineup which is the pomen granite team so this lineup is so balanced in defense and offense because Pomen Granite gives attack buff and do remember that Herb's heal scale on attack as well and Pomen Granite's heal is AoE so the first burst you're gonna dish out will just replenish back to 90-100% to HP so that means your first wave will be nullified and the only way to counter them is to use stun team with Lily or the Cherry Bomb but your objective is to unsynchronize either either that Dark Choco or Espresso so that it won't ultimate with the attack buff and it's still harder but the most effective way to counter this team is using Vampire so that they won't so that Vampire will kill the herb and they won't replenish back to 100% HP and the objective of that is let Vampire kill the most units on the back line and hoping that it will kill Espresso on the 100% attack, bu attack buff uh, from the timer next would be the Vampire team this team is used to counter the Pomen Granite team and do note that Vampire will automatically kill any herb with full attack toppings. So you gotta adjust if you want your herb to survive on equal matchup. This team is usually squishy depending on the treasure they use. So that's why Ginger Brave teams or Lily team can counter them. So that Lily can stun the whole team and gain the initiative to burst them out to win. So the next one will be the Ginger Brave team. The main objective of this team is to let Lily stun the whole team using Ginger Brave's uh, ultimate because Ginger Brave's ultimate always comes out first on the first wave. So that means it will knock back everyone on the back. So Lily can stun all of them automatically and there's no way to on stopping this on the first wave. So they have a high chance of winning when they are able to eliminate any of the opponent's DPS or healer. But they are likely to lose if they still can't manage to kill one when the third wave of the skill happen. So this is a full burst team and most likely they run without healers. And this team is likely to lose when there's an, a lily on the opponent because your Dark Choco will likely become unsynchronous for your Espresso to burst a lot. And sometimes uh, they also stun Licorice. So there is there is some issue with Lily with this team. Also, Pomen Granite team might have a higher chance on winning on this team. But it still depends on how your Lily stun will affect the tide of the battle. This team is starting to dwindle in trend because of the rise of Pomen Granite team but it still has its ups and downs and still currently used in some of the lineups in Master 5 but I do happen to see lesser on Master 4 so yeah you need to think twice if you're building a team like this so the next one I will discuss on the defense on why they are hiding one from the front line and one from the back line. This is because they want to confuse the attacker whether you have a Pomen Granite or a Ginger Brave on the team. Please do ignore my lineup because currently I'm not using Dark Choco 
However, when there's uh, one hidden on the front, you will be confused if it's using ginger braid and if they have two tanks this will likely uh, counter lily because they have a knockback on either one of the front line and also they are hiding the back line because they don't want you to know whether you have lily or vampire or even pomegranate and this will likely intimidate them so that they may think you are using them and most of the time they are gonna ignore your team but in the end uh, whales will still attack you and at least it somehow lessen the, the times you get attacked so there you have it those are the pvp lineup trends for season 1 I hope this guide will help you out for the upcoming season 2 and hit like or subscribe if you want to get updated on the next video. So see you on the next season of the arena. Bye bye!